Association and causation, they are not the same thing. In order to establish a causal relationship, Sir Bradford Hill mentioned about a few criteria. He talked about the strength of association. He mentioned that the findings between the association that we find between an exposure and outcome should be found in different settings, different population. He talked about temporality, the cause must happen before the outcome. He mentioned about dose response relationship. He talked about biological plausibility. He mentioned about experiments where if we remove the exposure, the occurrence of the outcome will be reduced. But later, Kenneth Rothman mentioned about multifactorial causation. He talked about a pie where we have component causes and when they are all together and when they are sufficient enough to cause an outcome, they become sufficient cause and among them there can be one cause which is necessary cause. So it is not one-to-one -one relationship but it is multifactorial and Kenneth Rothman mentioned that among all the criteria Sir Bradford Hill mentioned only temporality is necessary for establishing causation. Let's discuss examples. If we find an association between physical exercise and heart disease, now how we can put this in Sir Bradford Hill's criteria? In order to establish this association or relationship as causal, the higher the the stronger the association between these two, physical exercise and heart disease, like the more physical, like if the strength of association or odds ratio or reads ratio, if the effect of physical exercise on reducing heart disease is actually quite strong, then it is most likely to be causal relationship and of course if the relationship is found in different settings in different population it is more likely to be causal if physical exercise happens first and then we see reduction in the occurrence of heart disease there is a temporal relationship then this association is causal most likely to be if there is a dose response relationship the higher someone does physical exercise the less likely someone to develop heart disease then it can be causal and of course there needs to be some biological explanation behind this how about we find in experimental setting, in trials, that it, this works? So we can nicely apply all these Hill's criteria in this example. Now if we think about Rothman's pi, causal pi, it is not just physical exercise and heart disease. A few things can result in increase or decrease in heart disease. So it is physical exercise, lifestyle, food habit, controlling of chronic diseases, smoking. All these can be component causes for the outcome which is heart disease. All these together can result in the increase or decrease in heart disease so they can become sufficient enough in this case, none is a necessary condition. condition. Someone can ha have heart disease because 
he was primarily a smoker but someone who never smoked can also even have heart disease so none here is a necessary cause but if we are dealing with an infectious disease infection with that particular organism can be the necessary cause 